I'm not going to take your time because I don't want to cut any more out of Peter's time. All you need to know about Peter, if you haven't had the chess meeting, is inside the program. Read it. Suffice it to say that if we think of Peter, I always think of the word creativity. That's the first word that pops into my mind. He's going to be sharing with you some really wonderful thoughts about how he sees that fitting into each of our lives and how we turn around and share that with our students, touching their lives in a very positive way. I brought a couple of these books with me today because one thing that we are able to do through, with the fact that he is uh, our keynote is provide you with a link to go off and purchase these books at a 10% discount. If you haven't seen any of Peter's books, uh, actually, I, I guess I'll take them over to the Creative Memories booth, and as long as my daughter's there, they will be there. You'll see that they're all personalized for my grandchildren. I have a, I purchased one for each of my six grandchildren this year, so that this year for their birthday, every one of them is getting a Peter Reynolds book that has always a special message. All that to say, it's Peter's turn. Ready, Peter? Invite me to uh, to be a part of today's event. Uh, and uh, to join you in writing your next chapters. Uh, as you probably know, I am a, uh, a storyteller and a uh, author illustrator, and I've been developing software and media for quite a few years. And uh, normally I have to wait a year to see most of you. I know I've got a lot of friends out there in the audience, and uh, I'm here in Boston broadcasting from Table Vision Studios, and uh, I'm here with Bill Norris, who's over there. A bunch of you know Bill. You can say hi, Bill. Hello, everybody. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Hey, Bill. And uh, yeah, we were just saying that, you know, I mean, normally we do have to wait a whole year to see all of you and to kind of catch up on what you have been doing and also to share what we've been doing because we're, we're busy like you. Uh, throughout the year, uh, connecting the dots, working on projects, uh, traveling, learning from each other, and uh, this is a great, fun way for us to get a, uh, a, a reconnect with you and uh, really to continue that conversation. So, uh, I know that I'm speaking to like-minded people. It's, it's always a, in some ways it's a lot easier to, to talk to people who already are kind of on our side. Um, as you probably know, I'm a big advocate for creativity, and uh, creativity means making stuff. And these, this past 10 years or so, we've really gone through, I think, a very sad, uh, very test-centric uh, period. And it's uh, really crushed a lot of the great projects that were going on. Uh, I know a lot of you uh, have been in this for a long time. I myself have been... Uh, uh, in the technology education arena now for 30 years, kind of hard to believe, but the, uh, um, I'm actually going to uh, be getting together with my friends uh, Rick Abrams and Tom Snyder and Dave Docterman and Becky Connors from uh, all, uh, we're getting together to plan the 30th reunion of Tom Snyder Productions. Uh, it's been 30 years since Tom started in his classroom. So, anyway, I thought... This is Bob Barboza, Kids Talk Radio, and I am yeah. here with my very special guest who has won the big award today, and she has a little message about Peter Reynolds in the special uh, keynote coming in over Skype. So, what did you think of all of that and, and, and this, this whole event today? Oh, this event is quite outstanding. I've attended for over 10, 15 years. Uh, I've pre presented and I've met Peter and he is, he was today as he always is, very exciting, very informative, very encouraging for us to continue what, to do what we're doing. And I do have his book, The North Star, and I was very inspired by it to use with my kindergarten teach, uh, students a couple of years ago. So I'm really, really uh, impressed with Peter and feel that he's doing a great job of inspiration for all computer using educators. Well, you know something? I'm going to go to these students over here and I want to hear about what you guys think. Now, what did you think of that? You know, here this guy, Peter Reynolds, he's all the way out there in Massachusetts. 
he came through us over the internet. Uh, how did his message resonate with you? Um, I actually read his book, The North Star, and I read it to my little cousins, and they really liked the book, and they, they're just amazed by it. And I think that he's really amazing, that he, he should keep doing what he's doing, because it helps all these little kids that have nowhere to go. And so it gives them hope. Well, that's a wonderful message. What do you guys think? Um, I think that what he said was great. And I am a morning person, but <laughs> I can't do anything at night. Oh, so you remember that. Yeah. And uh, what about his message about making sure that we keep art in the schools and we don't take that away? What do you think about keeping art alive in the schools? Well, I think keeping art in the schools is great because people could express themselves like that. That could actually, like how he said, give us their person, part of their personalities. Well, we're so lucky that we were able to have him here, even though he's 3,000 miles away. So, on behalf of Kids Talk Radio, I want to thank you all for your comments, and I'm going to lunch. <laughs> Peter, thank you so much once again for joining us via Skype. It was a great keynote, and watching the audience, I know they enjoyed it. It's been a pleasure looking forward to seeing you here and hearing you once again. And I think I get to see you in Boston with the Dan. Well, I hope so. Thanks. So you're asking about Peter Reynolds and how we were able to pipe him in using Skype uh, here at the San Gabriel Valley Q event. That's right. I think it's outstanding. It was great. I think the idea that the four walls of the classroom are no longer fixed is the biggest learning from that that uh, now anyone with an internet connection and a recent computer can, at no cost, contact an expert from anywhere on the globe and uh, bring them into the classroom. So, uh, how did you think the audience felt after that? I think inspired, I mean, in one word. I think, uh, I think that inspiration encourages them. I think we're all much more open about the idea that we are all artists, and even if we don't think we can draw, I bet you we can draw a teacup. I bet you we can try something. I bet you we can learn something. Uh, I think that's what he leaves his audience with. I think it's an it's, it's a opportunity to expect the best from the students and encourage them to think outside the box, be a little creative. Page. Now, I know you were at this special podcast today where Peter, you know, was speaking to the group from 3,000 miles away. What are some of your thoughts about Peter Reynolds? Well, uh, this uh, spring at Q, um, I purchased a book from Peter uh, on Rose's Garden. And I went up and told him a story about how my husband had uh, taught Rose Kennedy how to play golf. So he drew this beautiful picture on uh, the uh, inside cover of the book with a, uh, a flagpole from a golf course um, showing that, that uh, the book was about Rose Kennedy and that my husband had actually taught her how to play golf. So I was really grateful. How do you think the audience felt today uh, listening to a keynote address coming from 3,000 miles away? You know, I think they were kind of astonished because I don't think a lot of the people in Pomona have actually seen uh, that type of a keynote uh, presentation and I think they were very, very impressed. And I talked to the person who won the, um, Chuck Jones, who won the um, raffle prize and he was so excited and is just really anxious to use uh, Peter's product. Well, there's a picture of Peter right there in a wonderful poster. And uh, you made all of the arrangements for Peter to actually be here, is that correct? Well, uh, Karen, Karen McBride did. Oh, um, Karen, a long time yeah. friend of Peter's, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I want to thank you on behalf of Kids Talk Radio and Teen TV thank you. for uh, shedding that wonderful information for our viewing audience. You're welcome, glad to do it. <laughs>